Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So my bovine babies, I got that right. I said that at the end of the Aries reading yesterday. So it's like you're ready, you want your reading, you want your reading and here we are, here I am, ready to do that for you Taurus. It's general, it may or may not resonate. If it does, there's an extended, if you're drawn to it, the link to that is at the top of the description within this video. We are gonna find out. So what I'm gonna do this week, I've been inspired to ask, what are you manifesting? And when I, and I, but my intention in that statement, that question is um, like not what you're necessarily thinking about right now that you want or want to achieve or some sort of goal you would like to reach. It's what's about to come in. So you've manifested something. What have you manifested? It's coming in. Maybe it's starting to show a little bit or maybe it's not at all. But that's what we're going to ask this week going through the signs. So I'm going to start with my oracle of fairies deck and then actually yesterday if you did watch the aries reading i was the same deck and i mistakenly called it the book of shadows it's actually the tarot of positive clarity so we're going to use that one for you as well and then we're going to get into my teeny tiny teeny tiny rider weight deck all right taurus let's see what you are manifesting what are you manifesting taurus? what is coming in something you've manifested Good, bad, happy, sad. Ooh, that rhymes. I'm getting good at that. What is it? What is it? What is Taurus manifesting? A manifestation that is coming in for Taurus. Something that they have manifested here. What do you have? Well, you have two. You have moon energy. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Well, that sounds actually really not. Oh my gosh, and solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all, all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. It feels like you're gonna have a little quiet time, but it feels very peaceful. This doesn't feel like, um, it actually feels like something that you might want. Kind of coming up, maybe the natural ebb and flow of life for you has really picked up. It's interesting. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Maybe there's a lot of different scenarios playing around you right now in different parts of your life. Maybe you're not really sure how certain things are going to be turning out. Um, or if you should take this path or that path. There's definitely the sense of the flow of your life, um, almost kind of picturing like if you're kind of swimming in the seven of cups energy, but it's not, it's not confusion based on, I don't think, I'm not really getting it, not to say that it's not possible. It doesn't feel like a confusion that's based on like illusions and mystery. There might be a sense of mystery when not knowing where you're going with the moon energy, um, but it definitely, it feels like there's just maybe a lot going on around you. And that may not even be, like, I just think of so many people that, mm, pretty much everybody, not so many people, the whole planet, going through the pandemic for the last, what is it, like, 18 months? Um, and having a lot of periods of quiet, and then things picking up again. So it might even be um, not as much as you're used to, pre-pandemic but more than you've been used to in the last little while there's a real i this solitude i'm almost picturing like somebody having a bubble bath maybe doing like getting under the blanket and actually yeah this cozy time right i have my sweater on it's kind of cooler and rainier here in the climate that i am i know that my southern hemisphere friends my aussie friends my new zealand friends and etc um are starting to steal that sunshine <laughs> back again you've got the inner child at the bottom the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child playing keeps us young at heart do something silly and fun but stay safe i just feel like this is a little bit of cocooning energy for you taurus this really feels like a wee bit of cocooning energy for you mm. having some snacks maybe playing i don't know some online games or games or ipad game i don't know games with your family but there's a sense of solitude with this 
if you're kind of thinking, I don't know, Cindy, I've done enough, enough hermit mode. This doesn't feel like hermit. That's the difference. Hermiting is going in, is reflecting, is, you know, not necessarily having um, the most peace the most inner peace because you're sort of looking for inner peace this feels like just maybe having some inner peace and um enjoying that like having the opportunity to enjoy that i'm going to pull out one tarot card for each the moon energy and solitude and then we're going to do a one two three four to get a bigger story The Seven of Wands. Hmm, that's nice. Coming in with the surrender to the natural ebb and flow. It's to calm emotions, reassure you that peace of mind is possible. That's really interesting to get that with the Seven of Wands. Like maybe you've just been like really slugging it out in the trenches of life the last little while. Solitude. Oh, I'm tell I told you it's going to feel good. It's not going to feel like you're forced to do this. Which, you know, I think is a lot of people have been forced. Well, anyways, let's not get into that too much. But it is just a sense. It's a different sense here. This is, I'm not picking up the sense of you feeling like forced. You don't really have any other choices. There's just no options. There's nothing to do. This is kind of coming away from having a lot to do. Or, you know, having a lot of feelings and emotions too. That might be uh, making you feel confused. Coming out on the other side. Feeling great feeling really really good with the ace of cups this is a nice reading so far keep pulling out cards but it is a really nice reading i feel like you're about to go through a period where you're really going to open up your intuition a little bit more um when you reconnect with people after this period of solitude it's going to feel really really brilliant it's going to feel brilliant you're going to feel um excited you're going to feel like you're in the flow because we're talking about this card here and it says specifically, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. And then if you're feeling confused, yada, yada, yada. But this is just such a beautiful flow. So you come in on the other side of this, feeling great. There might be some inner child. I don't feel like this is heavy inner child work. Because it does, it does talk about, remind you to make time to embrace your inner child, be playfulness, playing keeps us young at heart, do something silly and fun, but stay safe, <laughs> stay safe. So it's just, it is a time of playfulness. All right, where's the bigger story here? Where's the bigger story? I'm hearing five cards, so you have a bigger story. Interesting, three cups, page of pentacles. You know, okay, I'm going to say, because at the bottom you have the three of cups and the page of pentacles. This page of pentacles looks like a little pauper child, like in the Charles Dickens era. Orphan child trying to get just a loaf of bread. Please, sir, just a piece of bread, sir. So hungry, sir. But the page of pentacles is also just kind of going like step by step, taking it easy, learning as you go. I'm not getting that so much, though. I'm really getting with this card is kind of stealing, trying, you've been trying to steal away little um, instances of experience for yourself, but you haven't been having success. And I feel like it has a lot to do with work. There's a lot to do with work here. Something is ending with your work. I will say that. For some of you, I'm going to show you what you have. You have the Eight of Pentacles, this work. You have the Death card. You have the Tower. You have the Lovers. And then you have the Two of Pentacles. I kind of feel like for some of you, there's going to be a lull in your work. There's going to be a big shift in your work. There might even be an end to your work. <laughs> Just... 
I'm going to be honest. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Tower. And when I say there could be an end to your work, there could be um, finally reaching something that you've been trying to achieve in that. For some of you, I don't know. It kind of, this is general. It To pull cards out like that, I want to say it kind of feels like you might lose your job. I just, I was just saying that I feel bad, but I don't know how else I would say that. With the Eight of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Tower. So your work comes to an end and it's a bit of a shock. Um, but again, for some of you, it's there's a foundation that's being changed here. With the Tower, there's something that's ending and what you do at work. Maybe your position is changing at work. Um, like a project that you've been working on is coming to an end. However that's coming through for you, you are going to have more time for the things that kind of matter to your heart with the lovers and the two of pentacles. But I see you sort of um, now juggling, juggling two different aspects of your life where perhaps maybe you had a very... Um, singular focus here that had to do with work right because you're going into you're you're producing this this ace of cups energy but that there's something that you've been working on here and it's coming to an end there's no more found there's nothing yet to be built on whatever this is it could be what you've been building on in a relationship it could be what you've been working on in a relationship you don't need to work on that anymore. It almost becomes free flowing after the tower with the lovers and the two of pentacles. So let's clarify. Yeah, like this is the kind of reading, if it was private, I'd have to give you phone calls. <laughs> okay. With those three cards sitting there like that, it's, it's the end of a cycle. And the tower, I don't know. It feels like you wouldn't expect it. So, we'll do one more. The Eight of Pentacles. What's the world card? This is cycle ending here with your work. I can't, no, I can't lie. This is what the cards are telling me. This either resonates or it doesn't. Okay, the death card. The Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords. I don't know if it's something that you've been suspicious of with the Seven of Swords and getting clarity. It could be how someone has been behaving at your work and you're about to get clarity on that. There's something about your work here is about to change in a big way. Things will become very clear. And even this death card, if you look at it, it's just a wide open field. There's no obstacles there. There are no obstacles there. The tower. I'm telling you, things are going to be clear as day. <laughs> Look at the Seven of Cups into the Queen of Swords. Things are going to be clear as day where they weren't before. You might... Something. Something really big is coming to an end in either like some sort of investment that you've put of yourself into something. If you've been specifically working on a certain like a relationship if you've been specifically working on um like some sort of creative project if it is just your work something there is ending in a big way with the world and the death card and it feels so much like you've got two sevens turning into clarity it's going to be clear you're going it's going to be real clear and then you have the lovers See, this is going to enable you to move forward. The hanged man and the chariot. Going from the hanged man to the chariot. Having choices. The lovers in its most um, basic meaning, more original meaning, 
was having some choices, having a choice, choosing this or that. The hangman sits in contemplation where the chariot finally moves. It's interesting that the chariot is also number seven. The two of pentacles, this is where you've got your balance. The queen of cups. Oops. We're aggressive. Okay. The queen of cups, the nine of wands, and temperance. You have to balance the emotional aspect here. You have to balance how you express yourself emotionally. It's not going to be easy for some reason. With the Nine of Wands, this is feeling really open. Like how many different ways this can be coming through in your life. So it might actually be resonating for a lot of you. And I'm not getting like specific details, but really something is is closing off in a big way at work. Every ounce of confusion turns into clarity, but yet you still have to consider some things here as you move forward. If you were having difficulty making a choice about something, you're not like you're and maybe that's what's coming in here with the sort of like this this solitude but it feels more like um spa day like having a spa day having a spa weekend for yourself with the moon energy and solitude and inner child it really feels like that it's clearing something up for you it's not to say that you're that the path forward is going to be like really super easy I don't think it's going to feel horribly blocked, but there are going to be some things that you have to continue to kind of balance and consider as you keep moving forward. But your path is opening up. It's right like a wide open field. Like a, it's a, like a wide open, it becomes a wide open field. The three of cups and the page of pentacles. This is where I feel like trying to steal away like moments or it's, a, it's kind of a sneaky energy, the page of pentacles, isn't it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think it might be justified. If it's an orphan child, it's not getting any food. It doesn't even have any shoes. You know, a kid take the bread. Take the bread. It's the society that needs to fix itself. But it's still like he's in the shadows. He's in the shadows. He's not in the daylight. Coming out into the open, and it's a really big celebration. This is good energy that you're moving into. It feels like it's clearing something up. If if you are working somewhere and you absolutely hate it and you don't see a way out of it, well, you're going to have a clear way out of it. <laughs> you really are. And you're going to have a choice to move. Like that's, you're moving. You are moving here. Don't get too caught up in your emotions when you're making the choice. Definitely consider it, but also be practical here with the two of pentacles. You are moving into a celebration. How that comes out for each of you is going to be a little bit different. Just because the tower is here. You know, even if it's a place that you hate working or you hate spending your time there, it's still it's still a foundation that you have. And you have some form of security around that. It's a predictable thing in your life. It provides you with income, all of those things. But if there's a change coming, it's needed for you. And it's going to be good. Are the Five of Swords, Judgment, and the King of Pentacles, the Magician is at the bottom. Wow, yeah. You're going to be walking away from something. You're definitely, something is ending. You're walking away from it. Um, you're being called up to it. Something higher, something bigger with the King of Pentacles and the Magician. Like you're man, This is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting something bigger for yourself. But it comes in as a bit of like a what moment for you. And it might not feel so good right at first, but it becomes something really good. Like you're about to go on a really, really good path here. But there is a sense of kind of like maybe shaking your foundation a bit. Whoa, what, what? Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. I came into this reading feeling kind of like, I don't know. 
I don't know if edgy is the right, almost like a little bit of an adrenaline, adrenaline. You know, when you have adrenaline and you just feel kind of, I, just, I almost felt like that sitting down and I thought, oh, yeah, that's really a weird thing to feel. It was kind of like Pisces, I had a tummy ache during the reading and then it was gone. Now that I like navigated this reading, like that feeling is gone. So I don't, it could be something that you're, you're anticipating or you will feel like this. Your adrenaline may be triggered, but don't, it's a very temporary. It's a very temporary Taurus. I'm going to slide these all down and I'm going to go do the extended. And I'm going to see what the heck I can pull out of there. That was interesting. Thank you so much, my bovine babies. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.